Hello everybody, this is Alex Maurer with BeagleIntegration.com and we're going to make a video here about how to tag your products on Instagram. Uh, what the Beagle app is able to do is make this process very straightforward, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Quick look here at the list of things that you need to do to set up Instagram shopping. You've got to check if your business is located in a supported market. Uh, does your business sell physical goods? Does it comply with the commerce policies? Is your Instagram account set to a business account? and is your account connected to a Facebook page. So you can see this um, at the link up here if you want more information. All right, so here's what you're gonna do on your phone. You uh, click over here, go into settings, go into account, click switch to professional account. You probably want business, presumably. So you run through all of this stuff and I'm just going to call myself a website and hit next. Okay, we got, don't need to follow anything. And there you go. So now you're a business account. So what we're going to do next here is uh, take a page. So I've created this demonstration page because I have all my stuff already set up. But I'm, we're going to take this demonstration page and connect it to Instagram. So what you're going to do is go to settings and then you click on Instagram and then you click on connect account um, and this is my um, actual account. So we're going to I'm going to cut the video right here before I enter my password. So where we can go is we come up here and we click on the business manager. So I've got my pages, my actual page and this demo page and then the demo page is sitting right here on the business manager. And once we pop into the business manager uh, we should be able to uh, set up a catalog and we're going to set up that catalog and that is how Facebook will know all of the important information about your listing. Um, I switched to a small window here because it shows some of my friends uh, at the bottom of the window and I don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is go up, we're on a, we're on a page here and what we're going to do is go up here and go to Business Manager for Pocket Beaglewares Demo in this case and now we go into Business Settings and then we're going to set up a catalog. So I'm going to go to data sources, catalogs, and add a catalog. So we're going to create a new catalog. I'm just going to call it test, and it'll have type products, and that's good. So we check this, and we hit manage catalog, and assign my name to it. Um, so we should have access to it from a couple different places. So the next thing that we want to do is open in Catalog Manager. And once this opens up, we can, uh, we want to go to Product Data Sources. And we're going to add products. And so in a moment here, we're going to add a data feed. But the data feed is going to be obtained from the Beagle app. So we're going to take a look at that next. So before that, I forgot to do something, so we're going to jump back a couple pages here. I wanted to click on Instagram Shopping, and you need to connect an Instagram business profile. So when I pop this open, my demo account is not eligible for Instagram Shopping because I don't have enough activity, but once you have enough posts, you can come in here and apply for Instagram Shopping. All right, so from here, we're going to add products to our catalog, so we close this out. We click on Add Products, and in this case, we're going to use a data feed. Um, you, adding manually is for one at a time. So our data feed will come from the Beagle app, and it will upload multiple products at a time. So we click into here, and uh, we will set this up using the Beagle app in just a moment. Um, now, the way that I set this up originally was to download the CSV template and edit it. Um, and you are actually, what I always do is upload a file manually, 
though you could set an automatic file upload schedule, fill in this URL with the link to a Google Drive, and if you go on the Beagle app and always download your file to a Google Drive, the Google Drive will automatically update your file and then the automatic file upload schedule will pick it up from the Google Drive. But I always just upload file manually, it's not that much more difficult. Um, so the plan is going to be to move over to the Beagle app and we will see how that works. So next we're going to sleep over here to the Beagle app and uh, the, I'm on my welcome page here. So you can get to it through this link to Beagle, but the easiest way on the welcome page is to come down here to the Beagle Etsy button. And we're going to check that and we're going to obtain a CSV file of Etsy listings. So we check the I'm not a robot box and I will fill in my Etsy shop name. So this is the shop name that appears in your Etsy URL, um, the, the official name that you have uh, listed your Etsy shop under. And then next you fill in your brand name so you properly format your Etsy name however you want it to appear uh, as a description of who made it, your brand name. And so you want how many of your listings do you want? I'm going to request 100. I don't have 100, but it will just pull the most recent listings, the 100 most recent listings. And since I actually at the moment only have 40, it will pull 40. This box I will leave unchecked. This is to account for variations. If you are tagging on Instagram, then you will not need to check this box because you may as well just tag. You're going to need to check this box again. Um, you may as well just tag um, the base variation and your when your, your user clicks on the link it will they'll see that there are variations and they'll order exactly the kind that they want so you'll really only need to check this box if you are trying to create a shop that runs entirely on Facebook um, then you might need to transfer your variations over um, if you check this box, please only request 25 listings at a time or you'll time out and the request won't go through. So we leave this box unchecked and this box I'm going to fill in with a zero because it will retrieve the most recent listings. If you fill in a zero here, it will retrieve the most recent listings. If you typed, for example, 20 in here, it would skip over the 20 most recent listings and then give you all listings older than that, the next hundred listings that are older than that. So we leave this unchecked, we put a zero here, and we recheck this box because the variation expired, and I click Submit, and we wait a moment, somebody might be using the app at the moment, and so we have successfully created a CSV file. So we can click Download, or you can click Save Link As, and it will save you a CSV file. So as I mentioned before, you can save this into a Google Drive and then put the link to that Google Drive file in Facebook Catalog's automatic upload feature and then it will upload um, automatically from there uh, at a future point. So if you set it to refresh every day, it will within a day upload with the new uh, values. But I like to just fill in, uh, just manually upload the file because I usually want to uh, tag the, those listings on Instagram right away and so I just upload the file manually. So we're going to click save and it will save somewhere and we're going to load this into Facebook Catalog next. So we're going to upload file manually so we're going to uh, take a look here at my downloads um, we have the documents. So let me pop that open here. And we can see that it has everything that Facebook Catalog needs to make this work. So let's close that back out again. So we're going to upload file manually, as I said. And so we will, I'm just going to drag this into place. going to start upload. So it's just going to real quick verify that it's a supported file and it's going to accept uh, this file as an upload. 
So we're just going to wait here for a moment while it uploads. So we have uh, 40 products in the file, and it's just going to take a little bit. Um, it takes a little bit less time once you've run it once. Um, but now I should be able to come over here to products, and it will have a list of all of our products here. So we've got a website link and all the pictures and a description. So here I'm making a new Instagram post. So we'll pretend this is a photo of one of my products. Instead, it's a photo of my uh, habanero plant that I'm growing here. Um, and so what we're going to do is uh, select this photo and you can choose a filter. So here we'll just put some filter on here. And then I'm going to tag products and click on my product. And we should have, um, a, you end up with, you change your product source and you can select the catalog that you're supposed to be using and we'll, uh, it'll create a little tag. And then you press the check button and fill in whatever you want to put in here. And so you only have access to this tag products section if you have been approved for Instagram shopping and you followed all of the steps. So um, let me know in the comments if there are any issues that I should clarify. Um, and let me know if everything worked out. I will see you in the next video where I will be setting up a Facebook shop um, where the buying is entirely within Facebook and that will require using some of the other options of the Beagle app. But uh, that should be a pretty short video, so we'll all get that set up next. And I will see you then. Goodbye.